As shown in the previous video, how to edit from the project bin, I'm going to show you how to edit from the timeline. I've already selected this clip, but I will, I will double click it. And now I will have the opportunity to edit this clip. As in previous clip, I can do the exact same by scrolling through with the playhead. This is a much longer clip, thankfully. I want to start say two. I hopefully you will have better footage than I've got. No, it's not perfect, I'll, that'll do. <laughs> Again, the mark in. And let's just say here. Mark out. As you can quickly see, as you can see down in my timeline, the edits I've made have immediately affected the timeline. I have cut the clip, now the clip is cut in half. Well, not exactly a half, but it's been trimmed down by at least a quarter. I think it's about time that I show you what these buttons do under the video player. I move my cursor down. I'll start with the most obvious one, the play button. It plays the video. The frame button, single frame backwards. This is excellent for precise editing. And forwards. This takes you right to the beginning beginning of the clip, or if you've already included one of these marks, in or out, and I move to this to go to the very end. Now, if I remove this back to here, hopefully that's it, yep, and I do the exact same thing back to its original position on the timeline. From beginning to end of the clip. You can also bring your playhead, And this is adds a marker. You can also insert something. You can also overwrite something. And you can also export a frame, meaning you can take a shot of this and export it to some part on your desktop. And you can choose the file format, uh, an image file format. But I very rarely use that one. I use mostly these ones. And I'm relatively happy with that. And I recommend you do this. Definitely for this course.